Hello YouTube people, let me show you an amazing watch, Casio Edifice S107. Previously I did a review on Casio Edifice S108 and it seems you guys like that watch a lot and some of you requested to do a review on this watch as well, so here it is. Okay, let's just start with negative points because there aren't really many. I usually split my negative points into subjective and objective points so let's start with objective points and i see no negative objective points no quality control problems no misalignments it's just perfection <laughs> really so let's just move towards my personal opinion to my subjective negative points the first subjective negative thing would be the size I wish this watch was a little bit smaller, like something like 38 millimeters. Better still, I wish Casio would make several sizes, like small watches for me, bigger watches for other people maybe, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, speaking about the size, technically it fits the frame of my wrist perfectly fine, feels okay, doesn't wobble, well it's very slim, very stable watch, it's okay. but. My eyes just can't get used to this size, it always looks a little bit too big for me. So that's completely subjective, some people like big watches, some people have big hands. Anyway, moving on to the next thing. Another thing is these screws on the bezel. You see, if they were doing something, holding something in place, I would look at them and I would say, wow, nice screws, very nice finish. Casa went an extra step even to make them nicely align in this X pattern. Well done. But the problem is that they lack the sense of purpose, of functionality. Like for example, Adidas Dive Seiko Tuna Homage has screws on sides, very nice screws, but they hold this outer skeleton in place. They are not just for looks, they are actually functional. I wish something like that would be on this edifice watch, I believe something better could be done, uh, you know, to give that sense of purpose, of functionality. Like, if you want to break the design on these sides, I mean, you could alter the bezel, cut, in, cut it in half, maybe connect those half with screws, something like that, to give that sense of purpose. Now these screws, they just look nice, they lack a sense of purpose. That's my subje subjective opinion, my personal problem. <laughs> And another thing which I would like to mention is this extra small date window. It's not bad, not good. Well, it's not bad because usually date windows kind of destroy the design in most watches. They look out of place. It's not the case with this one. It's black date window on black dial. It's small. It doesn't destroy the design. So it looks okay. But... The bad thing is that if you have bad eyesight, seeing small things, you aren't gonna see the date on this watch. Those are all negative things I could think of. They aren't really that bad, not a deal breakers anyway. Moving on towards positive points. You know, if I would let myself free on this watch, speaking about positive points, this review would be an hour long. <laughs> so I written down just a major most important positive points I'll, st I'll try to be on point okay now let's start with the positive points first positive point is this leather strap the story is that i had edifice s108 with inter integrated bracelet and i believe this watch would come with the same quality of bracelet which i don't like it looks good it's just a soft clasp is good but it jingles jangles and rattles squeaks so i don't like that that's why i option out with this leather strap and to be honest this is the best leather strap i ever had i was not expecting that at all i mean edges are soft everything is finished so nicely it is so squishy and so flexible it almost feels like a rubber strap from F91W. It is that good, wonderful leather strap. And the clasp, it feels very robust, very strong. It's uh, made out of thick metal, polished in a nice way. And it doesn't kind of jingle jangle. It sits in place very nicely. Very, very good strap. Okay, another positive thing is these hands. 
They look very sporty, yet they are finished in a very tasteful way. If I would compare them to Casio Edifice S108, those hands were not done in a very tasteful way. They, they were half covered in the white paint. They were not looking that good to my eyes. These ones, however, have very slim line in the middle of white paint and very nice edge in the middle. These hands look very nice. They look unique to Casio Edifice, which is very important, strong positive point. Not some kind of like, you know, Mercedes hands. <laughs> they look very nice, very expensive looking hands, I would say. Moving on to next point is the color theme on this watch. It has this very tastefully done turquoise color. I don't know the name in English. It's, it's something in between green and blue. It's uh, like Bianchi bicycles color. I like this color a lot. So the text on the face, Sapphire is written in that color. Seconds hand is painted in that color. But most importantly, the shiny edges of indexes at 12, 6, 3 and 9 are covered in this color. And like, it's not too much, it's very tasteful. So only on certain angles, you catch this watch shining in that color. It's just, just enough. It's so tasteful and nicely done. I, I really like it. Makes this watch more alive than it would be without that color. Another thing, looking at this dial. <laughs> so let's put the dial into positive points as well, because it looks very unique. It's it finished in such a nice way. The texture of this dial is like it's half matte and half glossy finish. These brushes on the dial look so incredible. I mean, they look so good. They kind of glitch my eyes a little bit. <laughs> That's incredible. I have never seen a watch in this price category to have such a wonderful dial. And when you look up close, it glitches your eyes to the point very eyes don't even know where to focus, they lose the distance to this dial. It, it's incredible, really. The finishing of this dial is just... I have never seen something like that. It's, it's wonderful. And another little positive thing, which would be a little bit subjective, but you see, I like these Miyota movements in, in Casio watches. They, from my experience, they are very reliable. They are very accurate. They have no ticking noise. I mean, uh, I have no problem with uh, mechanical watches, but I, I sometimes have a little bit of trust issues with mechanical watches. I don't trust them too much. And when I wear one watch for too long, I start noticing that it loses the time or gains the time, and that's just annoying to me. That's why I like these Miyota Quartz movements that come in these Casio watches. They're just so good. <laughs> Not so many people prefer quartz watches, but like, I like this one so much. Okay, the last positive thing which I would like to mention is the finishing of the case of the bezel. I mean, it's next level thing. It's absolutely next level thing. It's like, you have to see it. It's incredible. If someone would take this case naked, would show it to me and would say, finishing like this takes a lot of very skillful labor. A lot of very expensive tools and machinery to achieve this level of finishing, of complexity. Uh, that's why this case alone costs 300 euros. You know what? I would believe. <laughs> now, let's take this wonderful case. Let's put on sapphire crystal. Okay, why not? Let's put sapphire crystal. Let's put in a very good, reliable Miyota movement. Let's put on that moment very beautiful, incredible dial, very unique looking. On top of that unique looking, wonderful hands with these tastefully done indexes. And you know what? Let's finish everything in such a good quality that this watch would have Casio 100 meters of water resistance. Not just some kind of random 100 meters, water, but Casio 100 meters water resistance, you know what I mean. And let's put this watch on a very good quality leather strap with this very sturdy, strong clasp. Okay? And let's take this watch, let's put it on this very nice pillow, let's put it into a nice strong packaging, 
Let's cover it up with this nice shiny edifice log as well. And you know what? Let's uh, let's price this whole thing from 60 to 100 euros. Take it in. Take it, just process it. From 60 to 100 euros. I mean, somebody in a far, far east, in a beautiful island called Japan, has probably made some mistakes pricing some Casio products. <laughs> I mean, it's too good to be true. <laughs> this is just... I mean, I bought this watch for 75 euros. Next week, I saw it going for 60 euros. <laughs> I was still not disappointed. I mean, under 100 euros, this watch is just... I, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. It's just... Okay, where are I gonna put this watch on my website, thomaswatchreviews.com? Um, if it was smaller size, like something 38 millimeters, and if the problem with these screws on the bezel would be solved in more purposeful feeling way, I would probably put this watch into God tier. Right now, it's a very strong keeper. It's incredible watch. This is incredible watch. Okay guys, thank you for watching, have a beautiful day, goodbye!